Hello there, YouTube. I feel like I, I feel like we're strangers now. I haven't made a video in so long. What the fuck, TD? Where have you been, man? Where have you been? You haven't talked to us in like two weeks. What's what's been going on? I'm I'm just like the video. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is okay, okay, I can explain. I can, whoa. Okay, I can explain. Um, basically, I have um been swarmed the past two weeks uh, with a lot of midterms and a lot of assignments and when you're third year in university and you're wrapping that stuff up it does get kinda intense especially for like a science major so I have been swarmed in the past while but now I have reading break and I finally have a chance to pump out all these videos that I'm going to be pumping out and I'm gonna be making a lot of videos over the next few days so hopefully that'll make up uh, for everything um, a lot of Shogun is going to be ensuing and uh, I'm even thinking about uh, playing Skyrim a little bit some more, even though I'm pretty sure that sort of has uh, slowed down and died out. But you know, I, I I bet there are a lot of people who'd still like to see Skyrim. If you want to see any game uh, play of anything down below, uh, just do let me know. So today I'm going to bring you something a little bit special that I don't usually do a lot. This is uh, the final round of the FF Gamers um, game uh, finals. Sorry. Uh, the FF Gamers UK CT, which was a tournament that was hosted by FF Gamers, and uh, I'm going to be leaving a channel uh, channel link to his uh, uh, stuff uh, in the description bar. So do kindly check him out. Uh, so this is the first match. He's uh, Brave Sir Andy playing against Scooter, and this is battle number one. Uh, so the battle is happening on the Kansai Wood now. I don't have an idea about what sort of rules and regulations this tournament had. I was simply approached by FF Gamers, and uh, he asked me if I could do a commentary on his stuff now. <laughs> he asked me this a while ago, to be honest. And um, I have been a tardy and a not very prompt commentator due to the past uh, sort of sequence of events of my life. Things have been also getting going hectic on the personal side but um you don't need to know that now do you <laughs> uh so yeah let's see here sacred band scooter against g brave sir andy on the kansai wood and uh for all you guys wondering what has gd been doing i mean i can't have been i can't it's not possible that i have been playing uh, that i have been studying for like literally two weeks straight like that just doesn't happen and you know what you're right and it's because uh, i'm playing um, a bunch of uh, Minecraft right now, actually, believe it or not, <laughs> and uh, that is what's holding up uh, my free time. And I'm going to be releasing a big Minecraft project in the future. So anyway, let's take a look at these armies here. This is Brave Sir Andy in the green banners, and he has three units of cav on his right flank. He has some Yari cav, two Yari cav, and a an Nagant warrior man cav. Let's clear some action here. A Walker Raider has been discovered, and this is the light cab. Is it actually going to slam into this four chevron Walker Raider? Uh, that wouldn't be a very smart idea. The Walker Raider will take the cab out. Uh, so let's take a look again at the cab. Let me just slow this down. Looks like it's going to be a quick battle. We have a Yari Cab here, a two Yari Cab. One of them has two chevrons of experience. You can see he's probably put them in a melee attack, uh, not in their charge. Not a very smart decision. Uh, increasing your cav's attack, especially on the Yari Cav department, isn't really going to do much. They already have that bonus against cav. They're going to do well anyway. Uh, this Nagana Warrior One Cav, though, appears to actually have a, a charge bonus and a melee defense bonus and a morale bonus, uh, which is also sort of useless in terms of uh, morale. Two Naginata attendants at the front, and then we have a sword. Uh, contingent Kastana Samurai all over the line and you can see they have uh, defense and attack upgrades and even some morale. These guys are formidable. And I get out of your monks at one flank and probably on the other as well. Yes indeed and they're gonna be there to uh, drop that essential war cry. He dismounted his general Sanda Yukimara and uh, this is his general Sanda Yukimara and uh, you can see that there's a Naginata attendant again supporting his general and you have uh, two more units of cavalry, and these are two katana cav. Uh, and you can see over here, uh, a lot of cav has showed up. This light cavalry now is getting swarmed by a Naginata Warrior Monk cavalry. Uh, six chevron. And on this side, you've got a Yari cav, a katana cav, and a fire cavalry. And then you got Naginata attendants coming in to support the fight. So a lot of cav on the side of Scooter. 
I'm going to just pause here because this battle looks to be very quick indeed. A katana samurai contingent base and... It looks like uh, on the flank here they've got one Naginata warrior monk. So it looks like this uh, this formation of a katana line with a Naginata uh, warrior monk in support is being used by both players. This guy has a lone sword Ashigara though. This is a uh, scooter. Uh, no, that's scooter and that's Andy. Uh, so he's got some katana samurai here. We're not able to see their um, stats. You can see a lot of attack. And there goes my phone. So more katana samurai, and there's an adachi actually here uh, on the edge of the battle. So let's go ahead and actually go back into the normal speed. And you can see that this one unit of Yari Cavalry is going to try to catch uh, these guys over here who are just running amok uh, in the middle. They're trying to escape probably from uh, this charge. I would have uh, left one unit there to hit it and one unit to attack, but it looks like he's trying to get that Yari Cav a little bit closer to his uh, army and indeed Indeed, he wants to uh, get them stuck, and you can see there it looks like the Yari Cav, uh, the Light Cav, I think, got hit. No, 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 the Light Cav is over here now. There's a cavalry engagement. Banzai drops on this uh, one Cav unit. This is a Yari Cavalry, and they have Banzai, and they're going to charge. There goes Rally. Banzai hits the, the line, and he's going to smash right into the middle of uh, this big mess over here. He's going to take that up. And he's also engaging across the line. This one unit of Naginata Warrior Monks was not attacked, but now it's going to be uh, hit up. The Katana Cavalry is now going to engage on uh, Scooter's side, but you can see that Andy is bringing a lot of Cav towards the back here, and he's going to just have a, a field day here if uh, these Naginata Warrior, if Naginata attendants don't uh, react, and they're turned around, they're going to slam into him, but uh, good, good spotting by Scooter. He's going to turn around and see them in time, and he's going to commit but uh, unfortunately he sort of seems to blob them in. There goes Stand and Fight uh, from Scooter's side. Oh, sorry, from Brave uh, Sir Andy's side. And now Scooter is going to go into uh, Stand and Fight here as well. So both players have gone into Stand and Fight. Uh, Scooter a little bit more uh, aggressive, you can see, in his play. Um, but he did let all of, if not most, if not all of his cab get stuck on this uh, uh, left flank here. And uh, there are some uh, Naginata Warrior Monks in the vicinity, so that's not very good uh, for him. These Naginata Warrior Monks are now fighting Naginata Attendants, and you can see the Naginata Attendants doing a great job keeping, keeping that Katana Cavalry off of a uh, brave Sir Andy's general. And now he is going to drop Warcry on the left flank. Will he get to drop it on the right flank before his Naginata Warrior Monks? Uh, wait, what happened to his Naginata Warrior Monks here? Did he bring them back? Oh, he probably lost them. They probably routed. But anyway, he did drop the uh, uh, Warcry over here. And you can see that the Naginata Warrior Monk has Warcry. Uh, so that one has also hit Warcry. In the middle here, the General is being attacked by uh, one unit of Naginata Attendants. But he does have a Yari Ashigaru in the vicinity. Um, sorry, <laughs> the Yari Ashigaru is attacking the uh, General of Brave Sir Andy, and this Naginata attendant is trying to fight him back. Uh, what happens in the fight now is pretty much looks like pretty much looks uh, like Scooter is gonna walk away with this. But you can see here now these Naginata warrior monks coming in, and these are actually Naginata warrior monk cavalry who have dismounted to deal with this Yari Ashigaru threat that has been attacking the general. So now the general is a little bit safe. One unit of uh, Scooter's Walker Raiders is now striking at the other Naginata Warrior Monks who, are, uh, who aren't cavalry or just simply dismounted. And you can see here that this one Katana Samurai unit is now holding off all this mess, which is the General of Scooter, his Lone Swords, and some Katana Samurai. Uh, it looks really dire now for uh, Sanda Yukimura. Uh, and Scooter looks like he's going to walk away with a victory. And it looks like that actually ends the battle there. Uh, probably corrupt replay. But it looks like Scooter did manage to win the first now. He was a little bit more aggressive than his opponent. Which was good to see. Uh, they both had rush armies. So whoever was going to get the charge bonus really was going to win. They had similar armies. Uh, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this uh, first battle. There's going to be one right after this in the same video. Which is going to be round 2. Uh, to see uh, who actually managed to take the victory. 
Welcome back to round two of the UKCT hosted by FF Gamers. Here we go today. Sir and Andy's gonna be playing Scooter again for round two. Let's take a look at the army composition starting off with Sir Andy in the green banners. He does have Naginata attendance, Katana Samurai, more Naginata attendance, Katana Sam Katana Cavalry. He's got one more Katana Cavalry than last time, and I think he will have a Naginata Warrior Monk somewhere. No, he does not. Very curious here. He's dropped the Naginata Warrior Monk to bring in another Katana Cav. Uh, what he does have is a lot of cavalry, and these are a lot of vanilla units here. He's got uh, Fire, Fire, Yari Cav, Yari Cav, and then he's got his Naginata Warrior Monk Cav. Um, look at this Bonsai Charge here. That is just devastating. Look at that. Look at that. Look how devastating that uh, one uh, charge by that Yari Cav that has Bonsai in here. Uh, by uh, Scooter. Scooter has that. He has another Yari Cab and he has another Naginata Warrior Monk Cab who's going through the trees here to strike at um, another veteran Yari Monk Cab uh, that is owned by Brave Sir Andy. So it looks like Brave Sir Andy here trying to get into the cab fight as soon as he can. Not really assessing, in my opinion, what his opponent has. His opponent has superior cavalry forces here. And you can see now Scooter is actually rushing up to try and secure the forest. Um, now the two key buildings here you can see uh, have been totally ignored uh, so far uh, uh, in this battle or so it would seem. One Naginata attendant being sent there by Scooter to make sure that his opponent doesn't take the shrine. And over here on this side this one unit of light cavalry was sent to sort of take the sword dojo but it was just as I said ignored. He didn't dismount them. And now the cav forces of Scooter are victorious. He still has a Yari cav, another fire cav. Is that a fire cab or a regular? Uh, it's two Yari cab, and then he has his Naginata Warrior Monk cab, and then he has more Katana cab. So the cavalry advantage is uh, starting to quickly uh, look like, uh, well, not quickly, it has looked like a, it, it, it would be in favor of Scooter for the past round. And you can see he still has a lot more cab. This light cab now, let's see what it's going to do. It's trying to run out of the fight. It looks like it's going for a rear charge, is it? Let's see what it's going to do. It's going to be running forward here, and it's actually going to strike into this Lone Sword Eshigara. I'd say it's a good target. Um, and you can see that, the t that charge did about 20 casualties to that light cab, but now they're going to get caught up and decimated in no time uh, by these other troops. So, how does it look like for Mr. Brave Sir Andy? Doesn't look good. Uh, he still can't take the shrine. Um, looks like the flag is about to go up, but probably uh, Scooter is going to close the gap long before, uh, long before uh, the shrine building gets captured. No, it actually does get captured for a brief minute, but he's going to lose it once the troops of Scooter advance. Looks like uh, Brave Sir Andy has chosen to sort of stand up on the hill here. His Katana Cab are going to be huge in this fight. He needs to keep them alive. But you can see that Scooter's main army is compr comprised of uh, the same sort of basic setup that he had last time. Some Naginata attendants, some swords, and some Naginata warrior monks for that war cry. Looks like that is what he's going to bring. He also has that one Yari Ashigaru protecting his general. So the same build pretty much from both players, except that now Brave Sir Andy sort of just threw his cab away at the opponent. I didn't seek any sort of engagement towards the lines. Looks like nah, not much is going to happen here and I'm holding the space uh, bar down to see if there are any movements and you can see this one Naginata attendance being sent out to the far flank not sure if I would do this myself I would place him a little bit higher here because um, this was simply mean now that uh, if the cav does get up this hill around them they're gonna have a hard time running up and protecting the backs of the troops and looks like a uh, uh, scooter here is sending cav on both sides around and it looks like that is what he has in mind it looks like we can only see the movements of one player. So, uh, Scooter now looks like he is not actually going to run right up the hill. Very smart. He is uh, moving his troops. Uh, looks like to the side to avoid the shrine getting in the way. And Brave Sir Andy just uh, sort of responding to his movements here. And here are his, uh, Brave Sir Andy's troops sort of just chilling by this hill here. Uh, right now I can pretty much uh, assume that... Uh, um, Scooter is going to take uh, this battle away. I mean, uh, uh, his cab is hidden in the trees below. Uh, Brave Sir Andy doesn't know where most of the cab is. Uh, if anything, Brave Sir Andy does have a little bit of an edge, I think, in the infantry fight, just because of his numbers and because of his positioning. 
but I think that is going to be quickly nullified here uh, whenever the actual fight starts due to the calf superiority present here by Scooter. So uh, let's see how or what is going to happen and it looks like uh, both players are just going to sort of stop and here comes the downhill charge by Brave Sir Andy. He is going to bring his units here and uh, if he commits everybody here he will have success but again Scooter is going to be the uh, idle uh, sorry Brave Sir Andy is going to be the idle side here. Well, look at these oh look at these infantry they're going to be charged by this katana cab. That was a brilliant counter charge here. This one unit of Katana Samurai fighting an equally sized one. This Naginata attended now fighting a Katana Samurai and look at here in the middle. That one charge basically decimated the middle. Look at this. They're down to 40 men these Banzai Samurai. And look at this. Here comes Katana Cavalry again to try and secure the fight here. Now the Cav of Scooter showing themselves and they're going to be charging downhill. These Naginata attendants need to turn around quickly and prevent a general charge, but the downhill momentum is going to strike at the general. And here comes uh, the troops running down the hill. Uh, Scooter drops Warcry. He's winning the fight on this left flank. He's outnumbering his opponent. And over here in the middle, um, Brave Sir Andy actually walks away with a win, but now his general is. what? Down to 12, 11 men. And these Naginata, Sa Naginata attendants, they're fighting highly veteran uh, Katana Samurai, uh, Katana Cap. They actually managed to ward them off. This Katana Cap now going to strike at the back of uh, Brave Sir Andy's own Katana Cap. And you can see the battle is raging on in the middle. On the right side, doesn't look too bright for Brave uh, for, uh, bribe, for bribe Sir Andy. <laughs> but it does look pretty good for Scooter, who is now just going to continue amassing his troops. And if he can get to the middle, if he breaks that one last unit of Katana Cab and actually gets to the middle, he is going to have a field day. And you can see he's just leaving his general here. And now the general finding this one unit of Lone Sword Ashigaru. And uh, this is not going to be pleasant for Brave Sir Andy. I think he fought a little bit better this time, but committing your cavalry like that in the beginning was a big mistake. You can see he's still having success in the middle here, but um, that was one corrupt replay. Uh, I did my best to uh, sort of show you guys what happened, but it looks like the the corrupt the corrupt replay sort of broke. Uh, I think Scooter did one uh, uh, did win both rounds, uh, so it looks like uh, the brave uh, the replay there uh, made brave Sir Andy's troops stand and fight a little bit longer. But anyway, uh, sorry for the long duness of this video uh, for uh, FF gamers. Uh, but I finally got it out. I hope you enjoyed uh, that one. Uh, for the rest of today, I'm going to be uploading a bunch of 2v2s fought between uh, myself and Tadashi against some online opponents. More Shogun 2 coming to you from GD Gaming. And remember guys, thanks for watching. Remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. And as always, I will see you next time.